you're powerless. Bombshell report urges Brussels to punish states flouting EU values. The dossier, compiled by the Influential Center for European Reform think tank, says that bloc's current deterrents are too weak and have proved impossible to use in practice. Europe is facing a growing crisis in the East where rebellious member states, led by Poland and Hungary, are openly defying its policies on the rule of law and migration. Warsaw has dismayed European leaders with its growing meddling in the makeup of the country's judiciary, whilst Hungary has launched an illegal crackdown on foreign-based charities. Both countries have also refused to take in any refugees under the club's mandatory quota scheme, disputing the phase it was adopted by a qualified majority vote and citing security concerns. Brussels has taken legal action and opened infringement proceedings against the pair over their failure to comply with EU law, but so far these measures have had virtually no effect. In both Warsaw and Budapest the populist, right-wing governments enjoy overwhelming public support which they point to as proof that they are simply carrying out the wishes of their people. But that has infuriated Western nations, who are net contributors to the bloc's budget, who say that their funding should be cut off until they agree to comply with the rules of the club. This incendiary approach has in turn enraged Eastern European leaders, who have described such plans as blackmail, and vowed to fight them tooth and nail. The growing and increasingly acrimonious divide between East and West is widely perceived in Brussels to be a much greater threat to the bloc's future than Brexit. Currently the most severe punishment the EU can levy on a member state is suspension of its voting rights, but this requires a unanimous vote of the other 27 that is impossible to achieve in reality. Eurocrats have also established a rule of law framework they can use to address rebellious member states, but its recommendations are not legally binding, and there are no hard incentives for errant member states to comply. The SIR report states, it cannot be right that the EU is forced by its own rules to subsidize member states that flout EU values and in doing so damage their own economic prospects. Apart from moral pressure, the EU's main practical leverage on member states is financial. The entire EU budget should be linked to European values, amongst them rule of law, since they are the foundation of the Union. The Commission could freeze funds going to a member state until it implemented adequate policy reforms in line with the recommendations agreed by the Council and the Commission. It warns, a rules-based institution cannot tolerate serious breaches of its rules for very long without suffering serious damage. Loyalty to a party grouping can never justify turning a blind eye to violations of the rule of law in a member state. Threatening sanctions in the form of reduced structural and investment funding from the EU for countries that are turning their back on European values would be a blunt economic instrument. But it should be possible for the EU to devise rules on the use of funds that make safeguarding the rule of law a priority. The report suggests that in such circumstances cash should be diverted away from governments, where it could be siphoned off to friends and supporters of ministers, and instead handed to local organizations. It warns that, unless a way is found to ensure that cutting off funds does not impact on ordinary citizens, such punishment would only further damage the EU's popularity and fuel support for Eurosceptic parties. Senior figures within the bloc are split over whether or not to link development funding to adherence to EU values, with Commission Chief Jean-Claude Juncker recently describing the idea as poison.